because you did this with huge success in supermarkets. And we all yes. know when you've got little ones in the supermarket, sometimes they can really throw wobblies. Yes. <laughs> all children can, all children can. But for your children, and for your child and for autistic children, it's, it's much more difficult and people don't understand. Yeah, and I think, Lorraine, the other thing that people don't always understand is actually the pressure that you feel by the general public that maybe just don't quite understand. And yeah. I mean, I'm quite little. And when I'm out shopping, I've just got my baseball cap on and I probably just look like a young mum that can't control my child. Right. And the pressure that can build up where you feel so misunderstood is really tough. So, you know, uh, staff training has been a huge part of what we've done. Um, so that actually, when you go in, you're actually comforted that actually people get you and they understand, they understand autism. Right away, because that's the thing, because you would probably get a lot of people sort of tutting in that very British way, you know, yes. and sort of whispering and everything and looking at you, yeah. glaring. Yeah. People think that's going to help, it isn't. Um, so you've got this, again, a sort of quiet hours, a quiet yes. hour in the supermarket. It's yes. a great idea. Yeah, it's, it's been phenomenal, actually. And as I said, it's I think for parents as well, it's having the confidence to go out and do it and know that they're backed and supported. Yeah. So yeah, I feel a huge change coming. You know, it's tiny little bits, but mm. it make it makes an incredible difference. Also, really good for parents that you can, you, you're kind of taking a little bit of control here. Yeah. You know, rather than just having to go along with the rest of the world. Yeah. You know, you, you're sort of saying to the rest of the world, could you actually fit in with us just just for an hour? Yeah. <laughs> and that's great. 